Now consider 4s and 3d orbitals. Which out of these two orbitals has lower energy? For that find the n plus l value. For 4s orbital what is n plus l equal to 4 plus 0 which is equal to 4. Now for 3d what is n plus l value equal to 3d n plus l is equal to 3 plus 2 which is equal to 5. So which orbital has lower n plus value it is 4s and what is it equal to for 4s n plus l value is equal to 4 whereas for 3d n plus l value is equal to 5. So since 4s orbital has lower n plus l value it will be having lower energy compared to 3d. Next consider 3p and 4s orbitals. What is n plus l value for 3p? It is equal to 3 plus 1 which is equal to 4. Now what is n plus l value for 4s? It is equal to 4 plus 0 which is equal to 4. Thus we find that both 3p and 4s orbitals have the same n plus l value. In such a case the one with lower n value is considered to have the lower energy. So 3p has n value equal to 3, 4s has n value equal to 4. So since 3p has lower n value, it will be having lower energy compared to 4s. Now let us see how the filling of electrons in these orbitals take place. The filling of electrons in these orbitals that is 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s etc. takes place according to Aufbau principle. It states that in the ground state the orbitals are filled in the increasing order of their energies. It means that 1s with the lowest energy will be filled first, then 2s, then 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, 3d and so on. Pauli's exclusion principle. It states that no two electrons in an atom can have the same set of four quantum numbers. It means that if an electron has a set of n, l, ml and ms values, another electron in the same atom cannot have the same set of values. For example, if two electrons have l, ml and ms values same, then their n values should be different. Consider two electrons in 1s orbital. Let us try to write the n, l and ml values of both the electrons. Since both the electrons are in the 1s orbital, their n and l values will be the same. n is equal to 1 and l is equal to 0 for both the electrons. Since l is equal to 0, ml will also be equal to 0 for both the electrons. Thus at this stage we find that both the electrons have the same set of three quantum numbers. According to Pauli's exclusion principle, no two electrons in an atom can have the same set of four quantum numbers. Therefore it means that for these two electrons which are in the 1s orbital, their ms values should be different. For one electron, if ms value is taken as plus half, for the other electron, ms value should be taken as minus half. If we take ms as equal to plus half for both the electrons or as minus half for both the electrons, then the four quantum numbers will be the same for both the electrons and it is not possible according to Pauli's exclusion principle. Thus we come to know that only two electrons can be accommodated in an orbital and the two electrons should have opposite spin. So Pauli's exclusion principle can also be stated in another way that is only two electrons may exist in the same orbital and these electrons must have opposite spin. Let us now see how to write the electronic configuration. For example consider hydrogen atom. One electron is present in hydrogen atom. Therefore, the electronic configuration using SPDF notation can be written as 1s1. Here, 1 denotes the main energy level, s denotes the type of orbital and 1 gives you the number of electrons in the orbital. Consider the next atom 
helium the atomic number is equal to 2. So, number of electrons will be equal to 2. The electronic configuration of helium can be written as 1s2. Now consider lithium atomic number of lithium is 3 and number of electrons is equal to 3. The electronic configuration can be represented either using orbital diagram or SPDF notation. In orbital diagram each square box represents an orbital and it can accommodate a maximum of two electrons. If two electrons are present in an orbital, one electron should be shown by upward arrow and the other electron by downward arrow. Thus in the case of lithium, out of three electrons, two of them should be entered in 1s orbital and the third electron in the 2s orbital. The fourth electronic configuration of lithium can be written as 1s2 2s1. In the case of beryllium, the number of electrons is equal to 4. The fourth electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2. In the case of boron, number of electrons is equal to 5. And the electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p1. Next consider carbon, number of electrons is equal to 6. How are the electrons distributed in 2p subshell? We know that p subshell has 3 orbitals. So, 3 boxes are shown. Note that both the 2p electrons are not shown in the same orbital. The electrons that is 2 electrons are distributed in such a way that each orbital contains 1 electron each. That is 2px has 1 electron and 2py has 1 electron. 2pz will be vacant. It is not possible to show both the 2p electrons in one orbital or in the same orbital. This is according to a rule known as Hund's rule of maximum multiplicity. So, let us now see what is Hund's rule of maximum multiplicity. Hund's rule of maximum multiplicity states that pairing of electrons in the orbitals belonging to the same subshell P, D or F does not take place until each orbital of that subshell gets one electron that is singly occupied.